Hi, you may not deny that a sure way to make money online is to create and build email lists. Experts say that visitors often give their emails when they find items of value being offered free of cost in your website. While that is true, there can be another way to increase email list by making it easy for the visitors to send you their emails. Here are two examples of that. In this blog of mine, I had this contact form in the sidebar. This form appears in the sidebar in all the posts and pages of the blog. I have another form in the middle of this post. And in this, I just ask for email address to know more about this topic. Fortunately, it is very easy to have these forms, as many as you want, in your WordPress blog. And this is possible with a plugin called Contact Form 7. Contact Form 7 is very popular. It has already been downloaded nearly 6 million times and translated to almost 60 languages. Let's now see how to use Contact Form 7 for our needs. In the WordPress dashboard, let me move the mouse on plugins and click on Add New Option. In this page, I will search for the plugin Contact Form 7. I already have the plugin installed, so that is what is shown here. For the first time install, the link will show Install Now. After you install the plugin, you have to activate it to let it work on your WordPress blog. When that is over, a link to Contact Form will show up in the left pane. Let me click on it. This is the page where the contact form details are available. You can create as many forms as you want. Simply click this small tab, Add New, to add a new form. I have made two forms. The first form is the one in the sidebar. The basic code for the form is available here. I have three fields here, name, email and message. You can add more fields by selecting those you want from this drop-down list, including quiz, capture and file upload. When the form is submitted by a visitor from the web page, the notification of the same can be made to be sent to two recipients. In either case, you can modify the mail structure as you want. Here below is the list of messages that show up in different instances of form completion. You can change these messages as you want. For example, when the sender's message is sent successfully, you can change this message that shows up. Embedding the form is very easy. Just copy the short code given at the top and paste where needed. I want the code in the sidebar, so let me go to the widgets page. Now I will drag a text widget and put it to the sidebar panel on the right. Now in this space, I will paste the short code copied earlier. The heading may be contact us. The form widget is now saved. How does it look on the sidebar? Hmm, not good. The form extends beyond the sidebar and it looks ugly. To correct this, I will come back to the form page. 
and this time I will put a div around the form with the style overflow hidden. Let me save the form. I am going to the blog page, refresh the page. Well, now the form looks really good. The second form in the page content is very simple. It only has the field for accepting email address. The short code for the form is here. What I do is simply paste the short code inside the body content for this post. That's all. Going to the post page, if I click the send button without filling in the email address, the form returns error message. Let me now write an arbitrary email address and then click the send button. Well, I am thanked for sending the email address. Contact form 7, as you can see, is flexible and useful. But what about avoiding spam mails? That also is easily possible with contact form 7. Simply select the option capture from the generate tag drop down and then copy paste these two short codes in the form on the left. You can change the capture settings for both the image and input fields as necessary. Remember one more point. The capture will not work unless you also have the really simple capture plugin installed. This plugin is also made by the same coder and it too is free. This is simple to do and I leave it to you to implement the capture in your sidebar form. This tutorial ends now. In the next tutorial, we will look at another plugin for popular secure form for WordPress. Thanks for watching.